How's it going? I'm Visionary. This is Visionary Decks, and today I built yet another Bard deck, this time in PNZ. Now, I think there are a few different ways to build a Bard PNZ deck. The first way I wanted to tackle it was a much more like meme tier version. This is a Bard Cunning Kitten printer, and the way we're going to be printing Cunning Kittens is with Called Shot. Uh, obviously, if we drop Parallel Convergence, that's just going to copy our entire board and any cats that we resummon will not only draw us chimes, but we'll also get plus two, plus one again. And of course, if we're printing our entire board, we're also gonna be printing Medulis, which is just going to give us insane numbers of chimes. And it wouldn't be a PNZ bar deck if we didn't play at least one good draw card, which for this deck is Rummage. Now, one of the reasons I really like Rummage is because you can get burst blockers on board. Flame Chompers could be like, I don't know, a three five, and you'll just burst block with a three five. Other than that, this deck is pretty straightforward. I've kind of run most of the Echo package. I like Drop Order because it just thins your deck. But yeah, that's basically the deck. Hope you enjoyed today's games as much as I did. They were absolutely insane, as I'm sure you can imagine. Here's game one. All right, Lurk. This is going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. This is actually... I mean... <laughs> That's not that's not the reason drop orders are in my deck, but okay. Sure. They're, they're not the worst. This is actually kind of clutch. Man, that's kind of hype. <laughs> Alright. Alright, dude. <laughs> this poor this poor lad is off to a terrible start. You know what? This is not bad. I like this. I like the looks of this. He's gonna play fish right now. Snap Josh Warm. If it misses. There is no shot, dude. There is no shot. This is how this guy is. I wouldn't play the rest of that game out either. You, you. It's really just like a 1 in 10 chance. We can beat Karma Set, can't we? I feel like we can beat Karma Set. I like this hand a lot. I'm going to be honest. I feel like we keep this entire hand. There's nothing here that strikes me as bad. I like it a lot. Just forfeit? No, 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 no. Karma set is, in my opinion, one of the easiest decks you could ever face. Some decks are just not good against it. Like if your deck does not have a lot of late game value, but this deck has a lot of draw, number one. And on turn 10, all of my units are going to be gigantic. The only issue would be like, if I didn't have draw, he'll have more cards than me. But I think we have enough draw. I think we're, think we're going to be okay on draw. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for like a slow start here. I don't think we want bird yet. There was no guarantee that we were gonna draw a unit, so the chime might have just burnt. I think we go double called shot into Mystic Vortex. I think we go for the slowest possible start we could ever hit this game. Printing Medulis. That's one way to do it. Um printing parallel convergences potentially. That one's a little riskier, because he could counter that by like deny or recall or stun. It might be printing Medulla. <laughs> it might be. That might be the move. That might be the move. Karma set is stall? Exactly. This is this is like the perfect matchup for me. This is exactly what I want. Look at this. Dude, we're both just two... Two... Two gentlemen drawing. On a, on a summer's day. On a fine summer's day. We're not even fighting each other. We don't need to fight. Why would we fight? We fight with our with our minds. Not with our, not with our fists. What do we want to do first here? I feel like we want a practical perfectionist before anything, because once I start shuffling other cards, no, oh, nice, that's solid. I feel like we're pretty happy to to shuffle extra copies of this. Yeah, this is a pretty good card to shuffle extra copies of. I'll do that one for sure. But yeah, I think I think this is absolutely a game where we need to be. We need to be printing. If we're not printing, we're inting. Man, I'm good. I'll play bird this turn. This is a good turn to play bird. Finally unlocked PvP. Let's go. Pog. Double chime. That's big. 3-5 on the drop order. Solid. Dude. Okay. This is, um... This is a lot. 
This is a lot. I'm not gonna lie. This is like kind of a lot. <laughs> this is this is gonna be a lot of parallel convergences. We're definitely printing this. This is 100% what we're printing. <laughs> uh, I don't know why he's passing, but sure. Go ahead, man. <laughs> what? Maybe we don't... Do we not print it? Do we print Maduli instead? Do we instead print the big man himself? It's tough because, like, this is deniable. We already have two of these, so maybe I should print Maduli. I guess parallel is cheaper, and it's more value. It's definitely parallel. I'll play this for sure. Yeah, I think I think uh, I think parallel is better. It's deniable, but he can only deny it so many times. Maduli is just a, a, an expensive unit, and these will be three costs every time we draw them. I like this a lot, dude. This is this is exactly the start I wanted to see. We're not going to play this this turn. We could play this turn, but we're going to wait until we have at least one Maduli on board for sure. He's going to have recalls, but even a recall is just going to, like, let me play Maduli again. <laughs> so there's only so much he can really do. Even if he, I think even if he stuns, like if I play parallel and he stuns Maduli, it'll still summon Maduli attacking. Which is very funny. I'll definitely drop this. Okay, so he's he's putting his champions out on the board. Do I just go for this now? <laughs> I almost the amount of value I get from just playing that now is kind of funny. I'll attack with both of these for sure. I want to save these guys for chump blockers, I think. But this is good. This is a very good start for me. It's fine. All right, and and we'll um we'll time trick just so we don't burn mana. I want to be very mana efficient here. The goal is to find either a lot of chimes or, yeah, another one of these. <laughs> that would be pretty good. That would be pretty nice. I mean, I can't pass that. <laughs> I cannot pass that up. Dude, I have, I have never had this many copies of this card in my hand. Three is a lot, especially on turn six, turn seven. What is this? <laughs> this is this is this is crazy. This should not be happening right now. This actually should not be happening. Alright. Um Maduli number one. It's 46 chimes. We'll go for Maduli number two next turn. Oh, I should have played bird first. That's all right. I'll, I'll probably leave bird in hand. I don't think we want him on board yet. We we are getting dangerously close to the to the end game. He's going to he's going to maybe level up before we can do the thing. Do we Do we play Maduli this turn or do we play Augmented Clockling? Because Clockling draws us one. It's gotta be this. It's gotta be another Maduli. Parallel convergence. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. And I guess I will play I'll play Bird. I should have played Bird and then parallel just for the maximum value although he does have a he has a decent he really has a good riff he just stops it with a riff i actually don't think we do it yet i don't think we can oh <laughs> okay fair i i feel like we if we wait Till next turn, he'll probably obliterate Medulis. So part of me wants to do it now. It's 300 chimes in the deck. Yeah, it's going to be insane. The amount of chimes in the deck will actually be unbelievable. Just do it. I don't think we can. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. I have to pass. We have to wait. It's not, it's not time yet. Don't worry. We'll have our time. You'll know when it's time. It'll be very obvious when it's time. It's time. It's time. I'm just worried about Caustic Riff. Caustic Riff ruins the entire value of, of it. This is we we have what we've been waiting for. You're right. No holds barred. You, me, in the ring. Mm. Don't do that. Don't do that, man. Why would you do that to my Maduli? Why would you do that to my Maduli? Okay, there it is. He had it. I told you. It wasn't time yet. I think we go for it now. 
We gotta go for it now, don't we? We go for at least one of them now. It's time. Let's do it, baby. Let's Maduli. He's gonna have a deny, isn't he? Even if he has one deny, I used to have plenty of these, dude. I got plenty of these to go around. I guarantee you he cannot deny every one of these. This will be, um... This will be 400 chimes if this goes through. Double recall. <laughs> hey, I'll just play him again, man. Sure. No, I got you. Say less. <laughs> I'll just play my Medulis again. If that's what you want, I guess, I guess I can make that happen for you. He's he's really considering, does he block this? I mean, he is pushing a scary amount of damage here. But I think we'll be fine. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. <laughs> worth? I think it was worth. I agree. Why is he passing? He has such a good attack right now. He could have just pushed free damage. What is he doing? All right, our listen. Our chimes are about to go to the moon. Our chimes are about to be at such a high number, science won't be able to explain it. I'm gonna drop cunning kitten. I will. I'll drop cunning kitten. We're about to go again. I want cunning kitten to draw me cards. Is there? My spirit is an unquenchable fire. I feel like I feel like it's worth enough. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like it might be worth enough to I feel like it might be a good idea to open with this, but I don't know. Maybe not. Let's Maduli again, shall we? I think we shall. I think we just keep throwing Madulis at this man until there is no tomorrow. 396 chimes. That's pretty good. That's pretty solid. That is pretty that is pretty good. I have to say. He, I think he's going to obliterate one Maduli, which is sad. But either way this plays out, I think it's better this way. We're, we're like, he's only going to be able to obliterate one, so it kind of makes no difference. What is this? Is he, he's playing that on Maduli. Okay, that's one Maduli down. That's one Maduli down, ladies and gentlemen, but there's still one left. Come on, come on, please. I'll play the three cost one just because... I want to be able to play Bird as a blocker after this. And he's going to be huge. He will be huge. All right. Here we go. Number two. We go Don't you deny. Don't you dare deny. You didn't have deny last turn. Is this another recall? This is a third recall on Maduli. <laughs> he hasn't learned his lesson. It probably is a third recall. I bet you it's a third recall. No. Stop it. You're feeding me. Stop feeding me. All right, how many times we got? This is why we waited for for bird. Jeez, man. That's a lot. It's a lot of chimes. All right, uh we we pass here because he hasn't obliterated this turn. He can coin and obliterate and he I'm sure he wants to. So we don't want him to obliterate this bird, right? Cuz it's going to be bigger than Either of these two units. So we pass. And we force him to burn his obliterate on like a cat. Go ahead. I'm not going to give him a free obliterate on, on bird. Alright. <laughs> Dude, it's ridiculous. It's too many. It's too many freaking shines. Now. <laughs> the question is. What is the best way for us to win? I feel like Maduli is so expensive. I don't want to play him this turn. I really don't feel like playing Maduli this turn. I'll drop Bird. We'll just drop Bird and we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll just wait. Obviously, we're not playing Parallel Convergence yet. I, dude, I feel like, I feel like this is the perfect deck to play against Karma Set. It's like if somebody could design just torture for the Karma Set player, it is this deck. Okay, sure. R dude. <laughs> You've got to stop recalling my... It's a one cost. That's even better for me. I won't play it because it'll die to um, the one damage that, that Set's spell does to everything. 
Oh, man. I feel like I gotta play Maduli, but I'll be going so low on mana. I'll play Maduli one last time. We'll play Maduli one last time, won't we? Won't we now? Here comes the Obliterate. It's sad. I think we've <laughs> I think we've got enough chimes, all right? I don't think we have to be worried about the amount of chimes in our deck. We have done our job. He has printed the Medulis for us, to be honest. I did not expect the triple Maduli recall <laughs> from this guy, but he gifted it to us for free. It was beautiful. Okay. Sure. We pass. I mean, the, the great thing about this is he cannot really threaten lethal this turn, you know? Not really. Like, he probably could do some damage, but this deck does not threaten lethal in one turn. It's very hard for him to take us from 20 to 0, even on full mana. He can obliterate my Maduli. He can draw a bajillion cards. That's still not going to do it. He might find Deny, though, which is scary. Oh, that's one Karma down. That's Pog. Okay. <laughs> Rest in peace, Meduli. He served us well. It's so sad. I I just, I do wish... Well, I need to find, like, a Rummage, don't I? We need Rummage so that we can summon this at burst speed. If I play this, it's just going to die. So I feel like we have to play Esmus. <laughs> oh, man. That's fine. It's fine if he does five damage to that. If this is if this is his attack, that makes me incredibly happy. All right, we've got a great turn coming up next 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 round. I think I think at this point, we've just got <laughs> we've got so much value. Any one of our units um, is just going to be so big he won't be able to remove it. He's going to have to obliterate every single unit, and he can't do that. He just won't have enough obliterates. We'll run him out of his obliterates. So our, our goal for next turn is to play this guy. We want him to obliterate something other than this guy. Because if we copy this guy, for some reason when you summon him, he does the draw one. Uh-oh. Wait, no, you know, you're you're not supposed to have big units. Oh. Wait. Wait, what? All right, good. He, that worked. He didn't get big units. Nice buff. I, apparently, it's I don't know. Everyone's confused on if it's. A I'm a. I'm afraid to. <laughs> I'm afraid to look at my own cards. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Um, what's the best way we can spend our mana this turn? I feel like we can't play Echo and this guy. And I want to play this guy, so let's predict and see if we can find a better... Here we go. Rummage is good. Rummage is really good. 24 chimes. 37 chimes. <laughs> I'll take the 37 chime rummage. That seems pretty good to me. <laughs> Dude, I, this is not okay. The fact that I... The fact that I can do this against what is supposedly the best deck in the meta is a problem. I don't even I don't even double discard. I'll just discard one. And we'll draw one more at burst speed. Uh, what do we got on this one? Oh, 21 chimes. That's good. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It's not even funny, man. I'll drop bird. Our units are so big at this point, I need to, um... <laughs> I need to just play my least valuable units first, I think. Because I don't want him to spend his obliterate on one of my four drops. The fact that he's still got so many coins really hurts me, but it is what it is. Do I just go for... I feel like we just go for this. <laughs> this is This is the move, is it not? I feel like this is the boo. I think this is it. This is what we're doing. Before he has a chance to obliterate. <laughs> flame Chomper bigger than Galio. It's true. It is true. The Flame Chomper is the most disgusting part of this entire deck. Um, the fact that I could just throw that out with a rummage felt so good, man. 
All right, man. Of course, he's got another one. And he's got more coins. He's got way too many coins. It's ridiculous. We hit him for 10, though. That's big. It's very big. And uh, you know what? We might... We might be able to get away with the parallel convergence. We might be able to. Oh, but you, no. He just refilled his man. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe this is the... No, this is not the... I gotta pass. I don't like this, man. This is this is like as funny as this has been. <laughs> this is looking scarily close to just I have no units, therefore I lose. I feel like I should play this guy. Shouldn't I? I gotta go for it. I think it's the only way. 21 chimes. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's this guy. 100%. He's a zero drop. I cannot pass up a zero drop. There it is. How many chimes on this? Oh, 24. Nice. <laughs> I have never seen units get this big. <laughs> in, in, in ranks. It's so funny. Okay, nice. He, he used... Um, used cost to Griff. That's big. It's big for me. Play another unit. Hopefully no recalls. I just gotta hope he's out of recalls. He's spent a lot of recalls already. Double place your bets, alright. Hey, what's up, Ebra? How's it going? Thanks for the raid. He does he has open lethal, unfortunately. Uh, I think we do just lose here. <laughs> as funny as all of this is. Nobody's tougher than you. It's just it's the fact that coins are so broken. He's just been able to refill his mana every turn, and like my units still cost actual mana, sadly. So, unfortunate, unfortunate. But this is, dude. This was this was a match I will not forget. That's for sure. I have never seen my units get this big. It's so funny, man. It's not okay. <laughs> like it's actually not okay. They're this big. Hey, Meg. Whip up anything special for tonight? I call it. I guess we're playing Echo. It's got cherry. Anything, anything but Echo doesn't make sense here. It's got to be Echo. Um, he creates Chrono Breaks, which is cool. It's not like that helps much, but <laughs> he is leveled. He does, he does have a zero cost time trick he might give us, and he's not deniable. Unlike this, I think we got to play Bird, and then we'll play Parallel Convergence. We just got to hope he doesn't have deny. He has to have Deny by now. He still hasn't had it all game. He's drawn so much since the last time I tested if he had Deny. But uh, he probably does just have Open Lethal plus Mystic Shot. If he goes for uh, Double Stun, he might go for Set's Face Breaker. If he goes for that, we could still win with Parallel Convergence right now. We just have to hope he has no Deny. No time like the present. He on, just has man. coins though, dude. It's so, dude, coins are dumb. Coins are dumb. You'd imagine they do more playtesting. You kind of, wait, what is, what is he doing? He's just trying to get, okay. I see what, I see what's going on here. He just wants to get the obliterate. I mean, I just take this opportunity to play yet another unit. Yeah. Or do I go for the parallel convergence? I feel like he has to have deny. But like, what difference does it make? I'll just go for it, man. I'll go for it. It's either GG's or it ain't GG's. It's nowhere in between. Ladies and gentlemen, if he has it, he has it. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. It's a stun. It's a stun. I swear. It's a stun or it's a recall. It is not a deny. It is not a deny. Stun does nothing. And I don't think he knows that. This card does not care about stun. No one ever plays this card, so he has no clue. He does not know. If he stuns, it does nothing. He has played Triple Will of Ionia. This is... Dang it, man. That is his last copy of that card. Okay. Yeah, he's got open lethal. Maybe. Well, I guess he has to block. He does have to do a double block here. That's, that's sad. It's definitely, like, he recalled the right unit. But this is still a free uh, predict, probably. Come on. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. What could we what could we predict here that would save us? I need like another drop border. If I could find a drop border. Dang. He really does not like that echo, huh? Alright. Yeah, that's lethal. He's got lethal. I have to I don't even think I have a drop order left in my deck, but I need a drop order here, otherwise I lose. I need drop order. 21 chimes. <laughs> 32 chimes. 23 chimes. This is none of this is gonna do it. Dang it, man. It's so sad, because we were so close to winning. And yet so far at the same time. GG's. GG's. We had our fun. We had our fun. And, uh, you know, the better player won. What can I say? Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. A real deck. A real deck. I like Rummage, Jury Rig, Esmus. This is a good starter. Decent curve. Not too shabby. Okay, I like this. Solid. Um, So, if... <laughs> if we can hit Cat off of this, I think we might have a chance against this deck. Just having like a 4-4 Cat early game is going to be really nice. I'll let this hit for one. I could Jury Rig, but I really want to rummage that at some point. Did you play Bard Jinx? No, but that's a good point. I actually do feel like that did exist. Bard Jinx was a thing. I guess maybe I'm not... <laughs> maybe I'm not the first person to come up with this. Dude... You know what we might we might need to run um the like plus two attack buff. Crowd pleaser. We might need that in this deck. I'm sick of my little Esmus, my innocent little Esmus, getting challenged. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of I'm sick of the opponent challenging my Esmus every game. I guess we just play this. This is a good blocker, at least. This is the perfect blocker for him. Yo. Yo, okay. Wait a minute. Okay. Wanna make me a few extra boards? That that was that was pretty lucky, I'm not gonna lie. He he can't really pull Esmus now. Like he has no, he can't though. You can't. It's not worth it. This dies. Dude, that was a misplay. I'm happy for him to pull Esmus there. That was actually great. That was great for us. Um Okay. We probably drop bird, rummage this and the cat, because this is this is not a cat that's gonna draw us anything. So I'd rather just draw for another cat. Uh, I'll end round if he lets me. Great for me, dude. <laughs> I feel like I really want to make it to the. Wait, is this a new cat? No, it's it's not a new cat. Okay. Next, we rummage and it's Cat City. Oh, you have no clue. You have no clue. I guess I guess we'll just we'll rummage before we play anything. That hurts. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Oh wait, okay, this one is. Wait, it is Cat City. I forgot it was not gonna be minus one cost. Nice. Look at that. Cat City. Cat City. Oh. Oh, I should. I shouldn't have played it yet. That was stupid. Never mind. That was a bad idea. I should have waited. I got excited. You said Cat City and I wanted to be at Cat City right away. That was not my brightest moment. I'll just play Called Shot. I mean, we're at 19 HP right now, which is good. We have six chimes. Which is not as good. It really do be a rummage kind of moment, don't it? This is the kind of moment you really want to see a rummage. Because other than that, is, is this a good cat? Hey, it's a good cat. Let's go. Wait, I didn't realize how big this Meduli is. We can't play him, though. Why is he so big? I don't... I don't want Meduli here. Double nine chimes. Yeah, let me just, let me just do that. I'm going to pass. I have to pass here. This is actually 100% a pass. 
This guy, this guy is literally a better bard deck than me right now. I'm, I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna die to Reckoning, but I can't play around Reckoning. I just gotta hope he doesn't have it. That's all of them. We found all three. How did we top deck all three like that? That's insane, actually. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that, is this deck nuts? Is this deck insane? That's a lot of units, I have to say. That was that was super lucky. It was actually insanely lucky. I will just full swing here. If he wants to get a good trade with, with one of the smaller units, that's fine. I'm just gonna push as much damage as I can. He might he might actually feel like he wants to freeze here. We might get a flash freeze out of him. Because this is a decent amount of damage. And then we can drop a big Meduli. And he'll have one less freeze to play on the on the giant Meduli. This is good. I told you, Cat City. <laughs> I, I I love Cat City, dude. I'm happy to be here. What can I say? Honored to be with you all today in Cat City. Beautiful, beautiful town. Beautiful, beautiful place. Beautiful people. Beautiful cats. Look at those. Look at those big eyes. He's he's happy to be in Cat City. That's for sure. <laughs> all right, dang, Maduli, taking a page out of K's book, out of Evil K's book. And eating literally every time. Let's um, let's time trick. I'm just a little curious. Let's see if we can find. Oh great! He's gonna die to reckoning. I'll take this. I'll pass. If he plays reckoning here, I need to play. He would never play reckoning. Actually, this this is a terrible turn to play reckoning because he has three units that, of his that die. Time to make an That's fine. I'm just gonna. I'll play this. It's not my Julie time yet. When do we get the dog archetype? <laughs> we already have it. Yeah, it's Nasus. Okay, somehow I drew literally every single cat in my deck. Main decked and the ones that I shuffled. How? It's actually bad. Like, I didn't... I thought I wanted to go to Cat City. I don't want to be here. I want to get out of Cat City, man. I want to leave. Get me out of Cat City, please. I'm sick of Cat City. Take me to Chime Time. Take me to Chime Chimatown. <laughs> I want to be in Chimatown right right now, man. No. -uh. -uh. I I I guess I'll jury rig just to have a free chumper on LeBlanc. I mean, this is pretty good, all things considered. This is not a bad uh, bad turn of events. We're trading really well. He's out of cards. I guess we're dropping Maduli next turn. I have no choice. <laughs> we're gonna have like. 30 chimes, maybe. Okay, that's... I mean, th dude, this is a super weak game for LeBlanc Ash. Ash LeBlanc is usually way stronger than this. This is super weak, so... I'm happy about that, I guess. Are we at Masters? No. Not, not yet. Not quite yet. We're getting there. That's Pog. <laughs> Am I really about to double 12 chimes? I feel like Elusive Maduli is the only way. I feel like this... We just gotta get him out of our hand, man. He's soaking up all the chimes and it really just makes me sad. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> He's down to one. He's gotta freeze. He has to freeze here. Okay, harsh wins. That's fine. It's cool with me. It, it had to happen. It was inevitable. The only problem is like, Maduli himself will always be one off of full killing him, which is terrible. <laughs> I need to find, I need to find, I don't know what we need to find, man, but I got to predict. We're predicting right away. I have to predict right now. I need the perfect top deck. No chimes, but that's fine. I just want, I'm just curious. Okay, you have one chime on that. Listen, dude. Listen. He never open attacks here. He never open attacks. He never open attacks. I guarantee you he never open attacks. He mirror images first. Here comes the mirror image. Do it. Let's see. Let's see you look at that mirror. Look at that mirror. You gotta check how, how you gotta check how, how your hair is looking. Of course. Before you, before you, before you go out for the day. 
You gotta just, you know, make sure the hair is all good. <laughs> oh my. Dude, the best part about this is even this guy draws me one. This is what this deck was made for, dude. I love it. It's so good. How many chimes? 50 chimes? <laughs> Sheesh. Oh, yeah, and I forgot it's an exact copy, so this version of, of Meduli has Strike on Nexus as well. That's so funny. <laughs>